want to become a teacher. My dream is to become IPS officer. I want to become a good software engineer. Sailee, a motherless child, stays with an alcoholic father and elder brother. There is no assurance of a daily meal. Yet, Sailee dreams to become a doctor. Muskan's large joint family lives in a small house. Her father is a paralytic. They are looked after by her grandmother. But Muskan's grandmother will not be able to support her dream of becoming a doctor. Rupali's parents are farm laborers. No girl in their settlement has ever reached seventh standard. Nevertheless, Rupali wants to become a doctor. I want to be a software developer and work at Microsoft one day. I want to do my M.Tech from IIT Mumbai. I want to become an engineer and serve the nation by joining the armed forces. Reshma, a girl living in a dirty and noisy slum. Her father is an auto rickshaw driver, mother a housewife is unsupportive. Reshma is determined to be an engineer. Sheetal is a farmer's daughter. She lives with eight siblings in a joint family of 19. Only five acres of land cannot meet her family's needs. Sheetal being a girl, her education is not a priority for her family. Yet, Sheetal wants to become a lecturer in mathematics. I company established a company. I want Seema lives in a small village called Kolmathe. Since several years, her father has been incapable of earning. Her mother toils hard as a farm labor. To pay for her college fees, Seema too had to work as a farm labor. Seema somehow managed to complete her graduation. Although she wants to study further, her family's meager income cannot support her post-graduation dreams. Every year, thousands of such dreams get shattered. If these girls, with potential and grit, get financial support and proper guidance, they would surely rise above their situation in life. Leela's story was no different. I principally come from a poor family. I didn't have a father. My father had died. It was very difficult for my mother uh, to educate five children. If I would have had better funds at that time, maybe I would have studied even more. That's, that's when my foundation uh, thought started from there. Leela Poonawala Foundation has been pursuing this mission. A mission to educate and empower needy and deserving girls. To transform these girls into independent and successful individuals. The Leela Poonawala Foundation was set up to support girls aspiring for post-graduation studies in India or overseas. 
what started off as a humble effort has now grown into an organization which reaches out to girls at many defining stages of their life. It's not just receiving and giving. It's a matter of character. It's built on character. The foundation reaches out and picks up well-deserving girls through a scientifically designed selection process. The foundation's trustees interview the candidates and interact with their parents. We look at their confidence level, their interest in the academic subject wise, as well as their interest in other extracurricular activities. When we interview the parents, we look at the family background, the economic background, and also how encouraging and supportive they are towards educating their girl child. The most deserving ones are picked up with the promise of a lifetime association. Irrespective of caste, creed, religion, the girls are selected only on need base and merit base. School projects of uh, Leela Punawala Foundation, the initiative is called Tomorrow Together, which means, uh, you know, we will take the girls from seventh standard up to their graduation. The girls selected at school level are called as Leela Juniors. Girls have dreams. In spite of them wanting to study, parents cannot. Parents educate them till 10 or maybe somehow even up to 12. That's where the foundation steps in because we realize what a graduation level education can give the child. It could make them independent both psychologically as well as financially and that's where you know we decided to introduce the graduation level scholarship. The girls selected for undergraduation studies are called as Leela Girls. Um, money which I got from my foundation, I could buy a computer which was not at all affordable for my family. It was the most uh, memorious moment in my life that I got the scholarship. Due to my father's sudden demise, my mother had to do some odd jobs. Without the help of foundation, it would not be possible for me to complete my engineering. Higher education के लिए जो है इतना खर्चा उठाना मेरे लिए जो है तो जोखिम की बात थी लीला पुना वाला फाउंडेशन की तरफ से मेरे लड़की को जो स्कॉलरशिप मिली उसके वजह से जो है तो मैं आज मेरे तीनों बच्चों की पढ़ाई अच्छी तरह से कर रहा हूँ माला स्कॉलरशिप में आला और माला खूब आनंद झाला माला सोवाट ला तमाजो सपनों को तेरे पूर्ण होते The Leela Pune Wala Foundation started with supporting girls for their postgraduate program, and even when we have extended in our scope and scale and extent. We still continue to support girls for their postgraduate program. The reason being, the girls are very talented, there is tremendous fire in their belly, and there is desire to do and reach a greater height, and we cannot stop them. The girls selected for post-graduation studies are called as Leela Fellows. I always wanted to become a lecturer. My father and uncles do odd job in Mumbai. They could not support to my dreams of higher education. Now, with the help of foundation, I can realize my dreams. My father is missing from last three years. Since then, my mom is managing the house by providing tiffins to students. My mother could never afford to pay for my higher education. Now, with the help of foundation, I can realize the dream of becoming CA. Graduation Chananta Cha Shikshanala Leela Ma'am Ni Madat Kele. Tehatar Itka Aap Manje Tenchi Mena Khara Mare Parenta Aabhari Leela Ma'am Chi Khara Chi. The Leela Puna Wala Foundation is doing an excellent job in terms of creating those opportunities for all of us to excel in what we do, to pursue our dreams and to not take no for an answer. If any one of us has to set up another foundation or run a foundation, I think Leela Puna Wala's foundation becomes a total role model. What Leela Foundation has been doing is something which is exemplary and it should be even if he elsewhere in the country. The award ceremony, in turn, becomes an auspicious start to an everlasting relationship between the foundation and its daughters. 
when the Leela Poonawala Foundation gives a scholarship, it is only an enabler for them to carry on with their academic requirements. When you see uh, the kind of backgrounds, the, the challenges that they are coming from, the circumstances that these girls uh, have to live with, the enormous issues that they face. So they are living not with just getting degrees, but they are living with a lot of handicaps as they are going along. Just like a father or a mother, the foundation takes care of these girls' educational needs and also works towards helping these girls to overcome their handicaps through various initiatives. Through the teacher's training program, the foundation strives to improve the quality of education that the Leela Juniors receive in school. The counsellors appointed by the foundation have individual sessions with the Leela Juniors. It is very important to know their background, their parents, their views and their day-to-day -day conditions to uh, nurture these girls. They also visit the girls' schools, their homes, interact with their parents, teachers and closely monitor the girls' overall development. The foundation arranges field visits and other events to ensure that these girls get the exposure and awareness necessary for their growth. Some of the Leela girls had requested foundation to arrange a career guidance program and they have arranged the program which has helped us to realize various career options in future. Foundation has not only supported me financially but it also helped me to raise up my expectations from myself. Senior Leela Fellows undergo training for sustainable leadership so that they can help more girls to become leaders like themselves. All these programs and initiatives are aimed at facilitating overall development of these girls so that they can successfully deal with the challenges that life could possibly pose to them. Lila Punava Foundation really provides all the skills that are necessary for young women to succeed in life. Those training programs are definitely uh, going to help me throughout my life. Thinking process, it has improved a lot. Logical thinking has improved a lot. I've gained the confidence to raise up myself as a good citizen, as a good daughter and uh, as a good human being. Thus, a girl of mere subsistence gets transformed into a woman of great substance. These senior Leela Fellows are a paradigm of success and a great source of motivation for the junior girls. It's no one person's wonder. Grooming girls at multiple levels requires large number of committed individuals. We currently have an advisory board of the senior trustees who are involved with the foundation from its inception. Then there is a main operation board which is taking the major decisions. Below that, I have got a board which is for undergrad and then we have got a school board. Today, there are totally in all this structure 26 voluntary trustees, honorary trustees involved. Out of 26, I am very happy to tell you, 11 are Leela Fellows. The girls who once sought help from the foundation are now empowered enough to manage the foundation. I have uh, made an attempt to create a structure which would be self-sustaining even after I am gone. Uh, that's, that's the principal goal. In addition to the trustees, there are a lot of trainers, professionals, teachers, parents and Leela Fellows who contribute to the foundation with their service and time. The Leela Poonawala Foundation remains connected to their girls through their quarterly magazine, Inspira. Inspira is that sense of the foundation which connects several hundreds of girls who are scattered all over the globe. Keep them updated about the different developments at the foundation. In this way, 
Leela Juniors, Leela Girls and Leela Fellows join to become part of one big Leela family. I was detected for ovarian cancer. It was indeed a difficult period of my life. Along with my family, friends, Leela family also stood by me. Currently, I am facing a deep crisis in my life. Lot of pressure from our community on my parents to marry me off. But I want to study further. I want to become a successful person. At, at this critical juncture, foundation has stood by me and my parents. Leela family consists of a vast spectra of people. We have counselors. We have our staff members here who are part of this family. We also have part of the family, the principal of the schools who have supported our cause. Being part of the Leela family, a girl finds her role model within the foundation itself. Successful Leela fellows, eminent trustees and visiting dignitaries propels the motivation of each girl each day. The chairperson herself is a great inspiration. Leela's journey from a poor but determined girl to achieving exceptional accolades in India and abroad will motivate anyone. Because of her inspiration, I entered in male-dominated oil field world. Whenever I look at her, I always feel the flow of positive energy coming towards me and inspires me to aim high and achieve all my dreams. The love and warmth extended by Mr. Feroz Punawala cannot be compared. I feel very satisfied with the progress we have made. We started with about 24 girls in the first year and uh, this year alone we will give around 400 scholarships. The donors are our main backbone of the foundation. I have had many good friends, well-wishers, supporters who have the same objectives, same goals, same values uh, who have tied up with me and maybe many more would want to join in this post to, to spread it further. As a matter of fact, they are encouraging us to expand and cover bigger areas and cover more girls. In the near future, we will definitely want to do something in the health segment, a kind of a wellness center to put, put through to take care of the health of my girls. And now looking forward, we find the satisfaction that it has become not restricted to a foundation, but it has become a movement. A movement where many people are getting involved in it. And we find that this movement will create a kind of a revolution where the society accepts that the girls should be given a due place in the summit.